So now in this question, we want to know how many uh, moles of oxygen are going to form when we have 58.6 grams of this KNO3 right here. And what's going to happen is this KNO3 is going to um, decompose into these three different chemicals. And so what we want to do is we want to know how many moles of oxygen right here are going to form. And so I'm going to put a question mark here and then I'm going to put moles. And this helps me keep uh, in mind that when the problem's done, I need to know the moles of this oxygen right here. And what it gives me is this 58.6 grams of KNO3. So I'm going to go ahead and right here and put 58.6 grams of this um, uh, KNO3. And uh, what I need to do is I need to go from this chemical here to this chemical here. And the way I'm going to do that is, well, first I have to be in moles. And I'm also going to look at the balanced chemical reaction. And the chemical reaction is is already given right here and so what I have to do is just convert this this grams right here to moles and to do that I'm gonna use this equation right here I'm gonna say that a mole is gonna be equal to the mass in grams divided by the molar mass and so I'm gonna take this 58.6 right here and divide by the molar mass and they tell me the problem with the molar mass of this chemical right here is gonna be uh, 101.11 grams per mole. So I'm going to take the mass in grams and divide it by the 101.11 here. And when I do that, I'm going to get 0.579, and that will be moles of this KNO3. And so now that I know the moles of this of this KNO3, I have to go to um, this uh, moles of oxygen. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down that I got point 579 moles of KNO3 and then from the balanced reaction it tells me that for every four uh, molecules of KNO3 I'm going to produce five moles of oxygen right here this O2 oxygen and so I want to put the KNO3 on the bottom right here and then I'll put the O2 right here up top and that's because I want this I want this KNO3 here to cancel with this KNO3 there. And then from the balance reaction, it tells me that I'm going to have a 5 here. And I'm going to have a 4 here. So I'm going to put a 4. I'm going to put a 4 here. And when I multiply this number here times 5 divided by 4, I'm going to get 0.724. And that will then be moles of oxygen like this. So I'm going to have 0.724 moles of oxygen which is going to be the O2 because it's diatomic like this. So this right here will be the answer.